Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough! Every time I come through this town I keep forgetting to show off this little doodad. If you go up here into this garden and shake the stuff up, aha! Oops, that was a that was a turtley leaf that recovers three flower points. See? There you go. It looks like you can actually rob the entire turtley leaf stash here, but I guess you're only allowed to take the ones that just drop off. <laughs> anyway, let's go back down the road to Hooktail Castle because there is a little something back there that I forgot that I was informed of, but there's actually going to be a little event before I get there, which is right here. There it is. Are you, you okay? You're totally streaking. Do you need a bathroom? <laughs> And... Oh, is that a mailbox SP? Cool, with the light. Hey, who's that mail from? Yeah, it's obviously a ga uh, retooled Game Boy Advance SP. More in-game advertisement of sorts. My dearest Mario, I send this letter in the hope that it reaches you safely. I am being held against my will in some strange place. Though I do not know where I am, I remain unharmed and in relative comfort. She even has a shower. <laughs> Those who have captured me seem to be after the map I sent you earlier. They may be hoping to use it to find objects they call uh, crystal stars. I do not know what they are planning, but I have a feeling it is not anything positive. Please, Mario, collect these crystal stars before they do. You must! They are already aware that you have the map, so please be very careful. That's because she's a blabbermouth. And please, don't worry about me. Princess Peach. Wow! Wait a second. Isn't that from Princess Peach? THE Princess? So that means she's okay. At least she's not hurt. Indeed, Lilu. But it sounds like whoever kidnapped Princess Peach is also after the Crystal Stars. Well, anyway, let's go back down the path, over over to Hooktail Castle, and I'll see you in the room that I would like to get something out of there. Oh, poopers. Okay, remember this room? The elevator music room? Yeah, go back in here. And go up. Off to the left side. I totally missed that right there, because I just didn't see it. Anyway, oh, just want to get over closer to this edge, please. I would very much appreciate that. Well, I can drop off here, that's fine. And go through the bars to get a life shroom. I, I, I came all this way for this, because if Mario should ever die, this is an extremely handy item to have ah, this early in the game, because if he dies, that mushroom will recover him. Like say, in a state of bad luck or something, like maybe I, I would get three poison mushrooms again, and then I would get hit by something powerful on the next turn, and then what would happen? Mario would fall, and then I'd be screwed. <laughs> yeah, with, with the uh, life shroom, I'm able to circumvent stuff like that. So it kind of takes the uh, luck factor out of things, basically. Anyway, I gotta get out of this castle. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, when you're approaching the front door, remember to go up through here rather than, you know, through the front door. Because the only way out of the castle is to fly across it, because you can't jump that gap. Bloop. Oh, come on! <laughs> well anyway, uh, I'm on, my ro on, on the road back to the Thousand Year Door here. So, let's just do some basic platforming back, shall we? No big deal. Routine stuff, even though I plopped right in the water. <laughs> um, now on the way back, you're able to do stuff like, well, you'll see shortly, well, shortly enough. Like when you go through this pipe right here, see all these the fences that are in the way, or say they were in the way before? Yep, you can shortcut right through them. Isn't that nice? <laughs> So, oh yeah, this isn't the top thousand year door yet. I'm still gonna cut ahead. Oh, here we are, back to the thousand year door. Because if you get on this pedestal with your new shiny star, um, all right, Mario, hold up that crystal star. Da -da -da -da! 360 camera angle. Okay, I was a little early with the 360 ca camera angle. <laughs> Or maybe there won't be a 360 camera angle like there was the first time. You know, the, the spin around the platform to show the whole room and whatnot. Yeah, I guess it's not happening this time. Oh, 
Ooh. Well, let's see what the next location is. It is. Come on now. Stop building suspense. Right there. Monochrome tree land. That should be interesting. All right. Now that we got that marked on the map. Woo! The location of a crystal star has been recorded on your magical map. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, Mario, look there. The next crystal star sh showed up on the map. But I I'm sorry, but I don't know. But I don't have a clue where that is. Back to Professor Frankly. Uh, I just said that. Dang it. I'll, f I'll forget it. Oh, I think... So, here we are, teleported once again. Whoop. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I see, I see, crystal clear. Um, so can you tell us where the next crystal star is or not? Uh, it is in the Boggly Woods, the second crystal star is inside a great tree there. A great tree in the Boggly Woods, huh? About those woods, I think some odd creatures live there. <gasps> Doesn't that cute critter look familiar? Hint, hint. You couldn't have possibly missed that on your first way through there, unless you... I mean, you, 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 would, you would have to see that critter as you went through that place, but you might have forgot it by now. If memory serves, there's a pipe beneath town that leads to those woods. Um, Professor Frankly, you should probably know, uh, it's about Princess Peach. Mr. Mario got an email from her just recently. Her Highness said that the guys who kidnapped her are also hunting crystal stars. Oh, and she said she doesn't even know where she's being held. Yeah. Oh, if Princess Peach's kidnappers are also looking for the crystal stars, what could they hope to achieve? Could the treasure be... Ugh, too many unknowns. Unfortunately, the only clues we can rely on are the crystal stars in that map. Um, I guess we can all... All we can do is head to Boggly Woods and find the next crystal star. But where do we go? Yes, I recommend you do just that, and find it before the princess's captors do. But don't be hasty. If you're low on items or health, drop by the shop and in first. I'll keep researching to learn more about the crystal stars and the ancient treasure. Got anything else to say? No, you don't. Um, I'm gonna go look on this side of the town. Oh, wait! Oh, you're here. Oh, hey, big bro. Rather fancy meeting you here. What the coinky dink? Eh? Who, me? Well, bro, I'm on an adventure. I have to rescue Princess Eclair of the Waffle Kingdom. Yeah, it's a bad scene, alright. So she's been kidnapped by the evil Chestnut King. If you gotta know, I met with some Waffle Kingdom cabin members the other day. It was pretty crazy, bro. Want to hear what happened? It's a pretty long story. Yes, I would. Hey, sounds good to me. Which part of my story do you want to hear, bro? So, we've only got one at the moment. There will be more of these throughout the game as you beat chapters. So let's start out with this. And like I said, it's a really long story, but here goes. My big brother, that's you, bro, got the letter from Princess Peach and took off. Left behind as usual. <laughs> Just had to throw that in there. And Mario yawns. I was cooking a snack at home and another letter arrived. We don't get so much mail, so I was thinking, huh? This is what the letter said. I guess you, they're finding this story very long-winded and boring. <laughs> Sirs, my name is Krep. I am a cabinet minister in the far-off Waffle Kingdom. Our land has been attacked by the Chestnut King, who took out Princess Eclair. I ask, nay, beg of your assistance, the Waffle Kingdom needs your skills. I humbly request your prompt response, sirs. Sincerely, Krep. Well, I don't remember it exactly, but I think it went something like that. With Mario, that's you, bro, gone, it fell to me to answer this plea. This story sounds incredibly familiar, doesn't it? <laughs> Hesitating only a teensy bit, I headed to the Waffle Kingdom to investigate. Oh no, first I wrote a note to myself about what I was cooking, and then I left. <laughs> Once I reached the Waffle Kingdom, I felt the Minister Crap who filled me in. The, the Chestnut King had kidnapped Princess Eclair and vanished. Apparently, though, some oracle said a marvelous compass could locate her. This marvelous compass has been broken into seven parts by an ancient curse. Hmm, really familiar. <laughs> and those parts have been scattered across the land. Can you breathe a blow, bro? 
Each part of the marvelous compass was said to point to the next, and since one of the parts was embedded in the tiara worn by the princess, I surmised that once I collected all the parts, I'd find her. Smart, huh? The minister gave me the compass base spoken of in Waffler Fables. <laughs> Waffler Fables. But it activated the entire lit thing lit right up in the the deep south. I was point it was pointing me toward Rumble Bump Volcano on the Pudding Continent. So yeah, here I am. I'm sailing out of Rowport for Rumble Bump Volcano. It's probably gonna be pretty dangerous, but I gotta rescue a princess princess. And then they just wake up. <laughs> If you want to hear what I'm up to, just come find me, okay? I'll be around. Oh, okay, let's continue that story later. I want to go over to the side of the town just to see if someone is here, here yet. I don't think the person will be, but he, he might. Um, oh, he is. Hello. Hey, 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 oh, I've got all the hottest new products right here. Look no further. You got the fevered look of a man with a mind for goods. Want to buy something? Mm, oh, oh, I want the timing tutor badge. That's what I came here for, but I'm, uh, I'm uh, don't have enough coin edges because uh, I want to start teaching about stylish commands and it's easier to have a visual cue for them to teach about them. Yeah, there's more to your attacks than just uh, guarding and attacking. Oh, can I sell some stuff? <laughs> I'm not desperate to get that. Can I sell some stuff? I mean, I could just grind for some coins um, via some enemies or something like that. Ooh, I could sell the life shroom. But I just got that. Mm, you know what? I don't need that turtle leaf that much. <laughs> let's see what else I got here. I don't typically use Mr. Softeners, so let's take that away. I, I, yeah, I don't like to rely on items too much, so that's why I kind of um, stray away from them. Uh, you already seen how... Actually, oh, maybe I shouldn't have sold that other one because I didn't really show how that worked. Ah, poopers. Uh, mm. I'm sure I'll get more of these later. What the heck? <laughs> um, mm. ah, fine, I'll go grind for some coins. After that battle, it's level up time! Yeah, I only had one battle there, and it was level up because I had so many star points. Ah, uh, this time I think I will upgrade the badge points again. Woo! I'll be able to, do, to upgrade some more stuff later. I'm not all that concerned about flower points, and I only got two coins for that battle. Ah, this is gonna take forever! Oh, I came down here and seen the little critter, because I was looking for battles, actually. <laughs> hey, Mario, you see that? That was one of the things Professor Frankly mentioned. Yeah, so this is the place you actually want to go next, is to just go through those bars, but I'm still grinding for coins because I want that badge before I go out, dang it. All right, I'm withdrawing all my stuff from the bank. I'm, I don't have the patience for all that coin grinding, so I'm, yep, selling, go, now, coinages, mmm, well, mmm, whatever, <laughs> I can get more of these later if I need them, you know their locations, mm -mm -mm -mm. yeah, I know it, it looks like that I'm not going to have anything left, and I, I kind of won't, but, this is kind of important what I'm aiming for here, and I'm bound to get more of that sort of stuff later. So anyway, let's go back to this guy. Hopefully his inventory didn't change, because uh, when you're away for a while, yeah, it changed. When you're away for, for a while, his inventory changes, and uh, this is a really good item to have, especially in later game, but I, I'm not going to... Uh, by that. I'm gonna leave town for a bit and see if he resets his stuff so I can get uh, that badge that I was aiming for this whole time. Ah, there we go. He has it this time. All I did was go down the pipe into the underground then came back. So I guess every time you simply leave, he resets his items. Alright, timing tutor badge. Yes, please. After all that work I did, all the items I spent, yes, 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 yes. 
<laughs> All right, now I'm gonna go back over to where you've seen that little critter back in the underground. So I'll see you there. Shortcut! All right, here we are. Let's go through this grating and see what is through this door. Rel uh oh, hello! Oh, please come back. I'm not gonna hurt you. I wanna see what's over there first, which is nothing. Come back. No. Oh, I'm not gonna hurt you. Don't eat me! Huh? You didn't come to eat me? I am not police. Uh, guess again, nerd! No! Leave me alone, you big meaties! Oh, Mario, that was uncool. Don't say stuff like that. I thought you were nicer. <laughs> Relax, little guy. We're not bullies, I swear. For real? Oh, oh yeah, that's good. I thought I'm, for a second I might have an accident. Um, aren't you one of the creatures from Boggly Woods? Why are you down here? Aren't you? You chased me here! No, it's the end! X-Nuts? Who the heck are those? Sounds like tissues to the extreme or something. Look, we're not here to do anything to you, so relax. Tell us what's going on, okay? Well, okay. Uh, this gang of bad guys who call themselves the x knots came to where I live. They came inside our great tree and started tearing it apart and causing trouble. So, I've come all the way here looking for help. A bunch of bad guys in the Great Tree? If those are the same guys who kidnapped the princess, they want the Crystal Star! Well, as you mentioned, they did say something about some Crystal Star thingy. Now, uh, we punies don't know anything about crystals or stars. Actually, I think it's pronounced punies. It's either punies or punies. I'll, I'll probably just say punies because I think that's the idea of them being tiny, cute critters. Anyway, moving on. So, could you help us out? Chase them off. If you do, we'll give you, um, what was it, the crystal star? If you do, we'll have the Puny Owler give you that. I don't know what it is, but yeah, it'll help us so reclaim the tree. I'm sure the Elder will agree. So, what do you say? Let's not waste any more time. I'm begging you. Okie dokie. Oh, 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 indeed. Really? You aren't joking? You'll do it? Yes, yes, nerd. <laughs> <laughs> um, I guess we should. I'd feel pretty bad if we didn't do anything. Unless we do need the crystal stars before those X guys do. Oh, thank you much. This is great. I'm so happy. My name is Punio. Nice to meet you. I'll take you to where I live. Follow me, okay? Mm. It's this way. Okay, let's see what is this way. Hmm? Wait, hang on a sec. Hmm? I'm sure the Puny Owl said there's some button around here in the secret entrance. Aha! Yeah! Entrance! By the way, uh, this? See that? See that up there? Oh! Yeah, despite the windows directing you to go to the right, you can go to the left and get the damage dodge badge. Decrease damage by one with a guard action command, so that increases your defense even more as long as you keep uh, guarding successfully, which is a pretty handy badge to have, actually. You can get to what's where your booties live by going through that pipe there. Okay, hurry, hurry! So, let's see. How many badge points does that cost? Two? Very nice. That's why I increased my badge points. I'm not all that concerned about flower points because the badges are by far um, better than flower points. <laughs> oh! We've made it to chapter two. <laughs> the Great Boggly Tree. What do they mean by that? Well, I guess we'll see when we get to there, huh? <gasps> the beauty. The beauty. So the Boggly Woods, huh? Looks mysterious, all right. Well, what do we run into next? Um, okay, just a bit further we should be able to see the Great Tree. And the Elder and your friends are waiting for us there. Oh, and my little sister, too! Come on, let's go! I, 
I can't. I, I just can't. It's, it's too beautiful. I, I'm stunned. It's, it's so gorgeous. I just can't go on. I must admire this. So I'm going to have to end off the part here. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part.